buonasera, adesso continuiamo il nostro viaggio perché fra pochi minuti iniziamo la nostra festa Costa International Party Bali intorno al mondo. Ladies and gentlemen, in few minutes time we're going to start our party, our Costa International Party Dance Around the World. Und meine Damen und Herren, guten Abend. Jetzt beginnen wir mit unserer Costa International Party Dancen aus aller Welt. Y damas y caballeros, muy buenas noches. Ahora estamos casi listos para empezar nuestra fiesta, el Costa International Party Bailes alrededor del mundo. Y mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. D'ici quelques minutes, nous allons commencer notre soirée, le Costa International Party, les danses autour du monde, avec notre équipe d'animation. Y señores y señores, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, señoras y señores, 3, 2, 1, party time! Hey, right. hey. So we, we will ride there tomorrow. One more day at the sea right now. One one more day, uh, the sky can look clear. We are not, uh, uh, we arrive at Port Victoria at eight tomorrow. So uh, the temperature now is uh, uh, 28 de degree. So here, here we go on on where we locate right now, the boat, the ship right now. Này có đồ không? 
why these uh, islands of Seychelles were initially called uh, the islands of the Admiral. At those times, uh, we can say that uh, these islands uh, will become a, a very important stopover point, uh, stopover point uh, between uh, Africa and Asia, and a very important uh, place of trade, and also a very important shelter for numerous uh, pirates. <laughs> the names uh, of uh, the different uh, islands of this archipelago derive, uh, as you can imagine, from uh, French explorers and from uh, French uh, officials who landed here uh, in the 18th century. Thus, uh, the name of uh, Shells, the name of Seychelles, uh, derives uh, from uh, an official uh, of uh, a French official called Jean Moreau de Seychelles, uh, an official of uh, French uh, King uh, Louis XV, uh, uh, and the name of the island that we're going to visit tomorrow, the island of Mae, I repeat, uh, the city of Victoria is located, is the capital of this island of Mae, the name of Mae derives uh, from this uh, French uh, cartographer Bertrand François Mae de la Bourdonnais, a very important uh, figure in the history, not only of this archipelago, but in the history all of, this, of all this region of the Indian Ocean. And as you know, if you know more or less the history of this region of the planet, uh, the French uh, and the English, uh, who for decades uh, have been fighting uh, uh, for the control of the Indian Ocean, have often uh, exchanged uh, the, the possession of this island. In fact, uh, we can say that for 20 years uh, there was a continuous rise and fall of the French flag uh, alternating with the British one. <laughs> but uh, since uh, 1814, we can say that the Seychelles uh, are an English colony in all respects. And 1976, as you know, is the year of the independence of this archipelago. Nowadays, uh, we can talk uh, about an independent uh, republic headed uh, by a president. The current uh, president is called uh, James Michel. And now, uh, when we talk about geology, geologically uh, speaking, we can say that uh, the island of uh, Mae and Prolon seem to be the oldest uh, island of this uh, archipelago, about uh, 650,000 uh, million of years. Uh, so compared uh, these, two, these two islands, compared uh, uh, to, the, to the other islands, uh, compared to them, the coral islands uh, and the atolls actually like children playing in the ocean, in, in, the, in the Indian Ocean. And scientists uh, have uh, speculated about uh, the fact uh, that the Seychelles uh, are probably the result uh, of the separation in very remote uh, times uh, of Africa uh, from Asia. Yeah. But uh, what uh, we know that uh, now is that, that uh, this archipelago has a total of uh, 115 islands with uh, an area of about uh, 455 square kilometers. Uh, 40 of these uh, islands appear as a set of huge uh, granite uh, boulders mm -hmm. and these mm -hmm. islands mm -hmm. are called uh, inner islands. The rest uh, of the islands are formed uh, uh, from coral atolls and sandbanks uh, and are called uh, outer islands. <laughs> islands and in the inner and in the outer islands uh, among many many treasures uh, we can find uh, two UNESCO sites mm. uh, two UNESCO world heritage, heritage uh, sites we can find for example the impressive uh, Valle de Me located on the island of Prolan that you can visit uh, with our excursions yeah. This uh, island where the incredible Coco de Mer uh, grows so <laughs> wild. And the other uh, UNESCO World Heritage uh, Site uh, is uh, the fascinating uh, atoll of Aldavra, the second largest uh, atoll in the world, already spotted uh, by Arab, Arab uh, in the 9th century AD. And the, these islands that we're going to find, that we're going to visit the, the, next, uh, the, the next days, uh, these inner islands include, uh, among others, uh, the island of Mae, Pralan, and La Digue. Here, uh, it is concentrated uh, most of the population mm -hmm. of this archipelago. So, it's time now to go to, go to discover some beautiful places that we can discover in the few days when we're going to visit uh, this uh, beautiful archipelago. Uh, the main island of this archipelago, I repeat, is the island of uh, Mae, the island where we're going to talk tomorrow with Costa de Romantica. Mae is, is uh, without any kind of doubt uh, one of the most uh, beautiful islands in the world, thanks uh, to its uh, 70 uh, white sand beaches, uh, 
thanks uh, to its lush uh, tropical flora and thanks uh, also to its uh, imposing granite rock formation that reach, as you can uh, see in this image, uh, that reach uh, the sea. Anyway, we are talking about uh, an island of just uh, 150 ki square kilometers uh, the capital of this island is, as you know, the city of Victoria. And Victoria is, with its, uh, its uh, 20,000 inhabitants, one of the smallest capitals in the world. Anyway, Victoria represents uh, for this uh, archipelago the heart of the economic uh, and political life. Uh, I repeat, Victoria, the capital of this archipelago, a city where we can walk uh, through its uh, colorful and lively streets uh, full of shops. So imagine now that we have just uh, left uh, the ship. Uh, we're going to try to do a virtual uh, uh, voyage uh, to the city. If you want to move uh, directly from the ship, uh, from the port uh, to the city center, it's really easy. You don't need uh, more than 20 minutes. There are a distance of about uh, four kilometers and a half uh, between the port uh, where we dock uh, and uh, the city center. If you prefer, you can find uh, some taxi there. You don't have to pay more than 10 euros or uh, $10 uh, to, for going, uh, to go from the port uh, to the city center. So imagine that we have just uh, left uh, the port. Uh, we have to cross to, uh, first uh, a small uh, fishing uh, port, uh, and then, I uh, repeat, after four kilometers, 20 minutes, we will arrive to the city center of the city. And the first uh, thing that we can say about the city center of Victoria is that uh, despite uh, numerous uh, modern buildings, this city, Victoria, retains uh, a pleasant uh, tropical atmosphere. Atmosphere. In fact, uh, we can say that this famous uh, Creole uh, culture can be breathed uh, everywhere. So, the first thing that I recommend to you to visit if you go to Victoria is to visit uh, the market, uh, the central market. We can say that they, at the heart uh, of a very picturesque uh, neighborhood, uh, a neighborhood uh, full of uh, uh, old, uh, old uh, colonial houses, uh, you can find, uh, I repeat, this cover, this is small. Uh, covered uh, market of Market Street. Uh, you have to know that the main chef uh, of the numerous uh, hotels that you can find here regularly come to this market to buy vegetables, uh, fruits, uh, spices, uh, peppers uh, and fish. So I repeat, uh, a visit to this uh, lively market is probably the best way to enjoy the real lifestyle of the Seychelles. This uh, small uh, covered market was built in 1840 at the very heart of the old uh, Victoria and this colorful market was uh, nicknamed uh, with this uh, other name, Bazaar, and this market has been uh, recently completely renovated. And uh, not very far away from uh, this uh, market you can find another symbol of the city of Victoria, the Victoria Clock Tower, or if you prefer, you can uh, use uh, the Creole uh, term, uh, as the local people say in the Creole language. This uh, clock tower is maybe the most uh, characteristic uh, view of the smaller uh, city of uh, Victoria and the main point of reference for all over uh, a century. And the opposite uh, side of the clock tower is the National Museum of History, a museum founded in 1964, a museum which shows a small but very well organized collection of exhibits illustrating the history of this archipelago. And there are some uh, monuments in the city, truly special. Uh, for example, this one, the monument dedicated to the liberation of the country, Zoma Liebe, a powerful symbol of uh, freedom for these uh, islands. This uh, metal uh, statue in the shape of a strong uh, male figure uh, with uh, both uh, arms uh, straight up uh, and fist uh, clenching a broken chain is one of the most visited monuments in the city of Victoria. This uh, statue wants uh, to represent, uh, obviously, a challenge and a triumphant victory for, the truly, for this truly independent state. I repeat that uh, the Seychelles uh, obtained uh, the, uh, the, the independence in 1976. And another symbol uh, of the Seychelles, another symbol of this city of Victoria, is this one, the Trois Zoiseaux, located uh, on Independence uh, Avenue in the city center. This uh, concrete uh, sculpture, representing uh, three pairs of white uh, wings open, was erected here in 1978 uh, to commemorate uh, the 200th anniversary of the founding of the city of Victoria. This uh, monument was designed by the Italian artist uh, Lorenzo 
Lorenzo Appiani. And uh, we can also find uh, very interesting uh, religious uh, places in Victoria, for example, this one uh, is the Anglican Cathedral of St. Paul of the mid 19th century, this other is the Catholic uh, Cathedral dedicated uh, to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. And in Victoria, uh, you can find as well a Hindu temple built uh, recently in 1992 in honor of the Hindu god of prosperity. In this case, to the honor of the god uh, Vinayaga. And even here in Victoria, we can find a small mosque dedicated to Sheikh Muhammad bin Khalifa al Magan. So remember that in Victoria, uh, that the city of Victoria has only uh, about uh, 20,000 inhabitants, but at least we can find four different religions, not to mention the great variety of ceremonies and magical rites of the island. But if you are in Victoria, don't miss absolutely the Victoria Botanical Gardens, where you can get a, a real idea of the lush vegetation of this archipelago. This, uh, these uh, gardens are located uh, on the outskirts of the city. These gardens that, uh, gardens were founded uh, more than two centuries uh, ago and are one of the oldest uh, national monuments uh, in the Seychelles. Uh, inside uh, these uh, gardens uh, there is an enclosure with uh, the famous uh, giant uh, tourists of Aldavra, some of which as you mm. know are more than 150 years old. Wow. And inside uh, this uh, enclosure you can find uh, a colony of fruit uh, bats uh, that you can mm. find practically in all the geography of the island of Maine. And uh, speaking of animals, you know well that uh, Seychelles uh, is a living museum of national uh, history, a sort of sanctuary for some of the uh, rarest uh, species in the world. For example, I just uh, mentioned uh, this uh, famous uh, giant uh, tourist uh, from Aldabra. <laughs> Remember that when we talk about Aldabra, we are talking about uh, uh, the second largest uh, atoll uh, in the world in terms of size, uh, exceed uh, only by that uh, very famous of Kiribati located in the Pacific Ocean. This uh, atoll of Aldabra consists uh, of uh, four big uh, coral islands and uh, 40 smaller islands that surround a beautiful uh, lagoon with shallow water. But I repeat that the main attraction of this uh, atoll of Aldrava is this uh, huge uh, torus, uh, a wonder <laughs> of uh, nature. Uh, you yeah. have to see this torus uh, before yeah, leaving yeah. from this uh, archipelago. This uh, torus uh, has an enormous uh, size, as you can appreciate on these uh, images. Therefore, the diameter of the shell can reach uh, up to 120 centi centimeters, uh, and the weight uh, can reach uh, sometimes uh, two and a half uh, tons. Wow. A recent uh, census uh, set the population of this uh, of the of giant uh, torus uh, in a number of about uh, 150,000 units. <clears throat> but let's go back uh, to the island of Mae, the island where we're going to talk tomorrow, I repeat, with Costa Nea Romantica. Let's go now to discover together some historic uh, site that you can visit there. We can begin with uh, the oldest uh, historic site uh, in uh, the archipelago of Seychelles, uh, that is to say the Bel Air uh, Cemetery, this cemetery which uh, dates back uh, to the French uh, settlement uh, in the late uh, 18th uh, century. In fact, uh, we are talking about the first uh, cemetery on the island. And what can we find there? Obviously, we can find uh, historical landmarks, uh, tombs, uh, crypts, uh, family tombs, uh, and the votive uh, altars uh, that contain the remains of uh, some of the most uh, famous uh, inhabitants of this island. For example, the remains of this uh, uh, famous uh, French uh, pirate uh, Jean-Francois Odoul. And another important uh, man whose remains uh, lie in this cemetery is the mysterious uh, Pierre-Louis Poiret, believed uh, by some to be an illegitim a legitimate uh, son of King uh, Louis XVI, uh, uh, Pierre-Louis uh, Poiret, who escaped uh, the French Revolution and found refuge here in the Seychelles. But let's move now, let's go now to the heart of the island of uh, Mahé through uh, this uh, Sans Souci road. Uh, we're going to cross uh, the Morne uh, National Park uh, and we're going to arrive to the top of the mountain uh, where the, is located the Mission Lodge. And uh, what is the Mission Lodge? The Mission Lodge is a building, uh, once a uh, farm uh, and boarding school for the children of the 
freed uh, slaves. Uh, this uh, building uh, opened in uh, March 1875 uh, under the name of uh, Vince Town, and this building was later uh, renamed uh, Capisa. Anyway, this building was uh, closed a few years uh, later for lack uh, of funds. Mm -hmm. But what, uh, what is the importance of this, uh, of this uh, building? Why I'm telling you about these uh, ruins? Because uh, uh, you can find the ruins of this uh, building at the beginning of an unforgettable road leading up to this uh, lookout uh, which offers very good, uh, very splendid, very great views uh, over the west uh, coast uh, of uh, uh, the island of Mai. So if you want to take a beautiful uh, panoramic pictures uh, uh, tomorrow, if you want to take a very beautiful uh, panorama of the island, it's a very good idea to go to this lookout uh, located, I repeat, uh, practically at the beginning uh, of the place where you can find these ruins of uh, Vence Town. And not very far away from here, you can find uh, the Domaine de Val des Prés, or if you prefer, uh, the Craft Village, Craft Village, which is part uh, of the national heritage. Here, practically, you can breathe uh, the traditional Creole culture, and here you can find very interesting uh, Creole buildings, as for example, this one, the Grand Casa, built around 1870, a traditional uh, manor house uh, surrounded by premises uh, and in perfect co condition. The premises uh, are uh, the Casa Rosa, a typical house uh, of the working class of the 20th century, and you can find there as well a 12th uh, uh, workshops uh, that host uh, local uh, artisans. Uh, and last uh, but not uh, least, uh, you can find there this jewel, the Maison de Coco, that is to say a house uh, that was entirely built uh, with coconuts, uh, a house where you can buy, uh, where you can find craft uh, made only with coconut. So. But now mm -hmm. we're gonna leave uh, this place. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go to discover together some of the beaches uh, of this island. Uh, you know, you know that uh, the island of Mae has about seventy uh, beaches. Uh, but let's go first uh, to the west coast uh, of the island. We can say that the most uh, famous beach of this island of Mae is probably Bo Vallon this uh, beautiful uh, crescent of white and glistening sand mm. surrounded by takamaka mm. and coconut mm. trees uh, and bordered uh, by rugged uh, granite uh, rocks at the ends. Uh, you don't need more than 15 minutes by car to reach uh, this uh, this uh, beach of uh, Beauvalon, a very good choice if uh, the thing that you want to, for tomorrow is to, to relax uh, at mm. the beach. Uh. But let's go now to the south uh, of the island of Mahé to discover yeah, another yeah. very in beautiful beach, in this case Grand Anse, a real paradise. If we continue moving to the south of the island, we can find, for example, this one, Anse Entendance, once completely uh, wild. And this one, to finish this chapter dedicated to the beaches, uh, is Anse Takamaka. Uh, another beach with sand and crystal clear water. But I repeat, you will have a very good uh, choice. We have more than 70 beaches uh, waiting for you tomorrow <laughs> in the island of Mai. But we don't have time to talk about all the beaches, uh, so it's time now to move to another island, the island of Pralan, the second uh, largest island of this uh, archipelago, a granitic island uh, as Mae, and with uh, an uninterrupted coast of white sand uh, framed by coconut uh, palms. Before uh, being uh, inhabited by French settlers in the middle of the 18th century, we can say that uh, this uh, Côte d'Or uh, of the island of Halan was one of the favorite uh, haunt uh, for pirates. Why? Because we are talking about a very small island. Uh, think about the fact that uh, this island of Pralan uh, is only 11 kilometers long and 4 kilometers uh, wide and with a population of about uh, 6,500 mm. inhabitants, a repeat, a very small and quiet uh, island. And if we were to rank uh, the, the beaches of uh, Pralan, probably the first uh, place would be for this one, Anse Lazio, a real paradise. We can say that when we talk about this uh, Anse Lazio that until recent times uh, that a perfect uh, blend of sand and blinding turquoise uh, sea has uh, had to be conquered uh, by biker after a very long uh, hike but fortunately a paved road uh, makes things now easier and Anse Lazio has become a master to every tourist uh, visiting the island of Pralan. 
but uh, if uh, Pralin offers uh, magnificent uh, beaches, uh, this is not the only reason why this island of Pralin is particularly well known. The real reason is, as you know, the real reason uh, is called uh, La Vallée de Mai, one of the two UNESCO sites uh, of the island of Pralin. The valley is a so exceptional place that for a long time it was believed to be the famous Garden of Eden of the Bible. Truth or not, that is sure is that this is the island, this is the place where we can find the famous Coco de Mer. This uh, Coco de Mer with its 20 pounds, without any kind of doubt, the biggest seed of nature. And inside uh, this uh, Valle de May, you can find uh, inside this uh, valley this practically uh, 12,000 knots uh, of this uh, Coco de Mer are collected uh, every year, but this is not enough uh, to satisfy the demands uh, of tourists. Why? Because uh, we find about uh, 130,000 uh, visitors per season eager to take home this impressive souvenir. A souvenir <laughs> with a very sensual shape, as you can appreciate, and in fact, this innocent Coco de Mer has been renamed Coco Fest, that is to say, Coco Bam by local people. Of course, as you can appreciate on this image, nature is uh, an extraordinary thing. But uh, it's time now to move uh, to another impressive island uh, of the geography of this archipelago of Seychelles. It's time now to go to La Dique, uh, an island that is very known uh, worldwide for its famous uh, beach, uh, Anne's uh, Source d'Argent, this uh, beach uh, where you can find this impressive and huge uh, silver granite uh, rocks. Uh, we are talking uh, about an island uh, that is located at about uh, 45 kilometers from the island where we will talk tomorrow from the island of Mae. Uh, but uh, it's always worth it to, to go there for a visit. So a very important thing, if you want to get uh, this island, remember that you, can, you have to go to, to kind of arrive there by boat, obviously, but leaving from the island of Pralin. The island of Pralin that is located at about seven kilometers from the island of Ladique. That is to say, there is not a direct boat between the island of Mae and the island of Ladique. You have to mm. change boat when you will arrive to Ladique, to the island of uh, Pala. So after uh, uh, an a half uh, hour crossing, we can discover this uh, little paradise of just uh, 10 square kilometers. We will arrive exactly to this picturesque uh, quayside of La Paz. When we talk about uh, the island of La Digue, we are talking about an island where time uh, seems uh, to have been uh, stopped. Uh, we are talking about an island where traditions are still uh, very alive. Uh, and in fact, uh, remember that travels are mostly done here with carts uh, pulled uh, by oxen or by bicycle. Mm -hmm. Here it's in, uh, forbidden the private uh, transportation. They are not private, uh, private cars. In Atladige, at this beautiful paradise, you can discover fabulous uh, landscapes and unexpected uh, things, uh, like for example, this uh, great uh, church uh, founded and built uh, in very simple forms uh, in uh, 1853, a church uh, uh, that was completely rebuilt in 1897. But if you love uh, local architecture, it's a very good, uh, it, a very good idea to visit this uh, this place, one of the most uh, photographed places uh, on the island. That is to say, La Maison Jaune, a good and yellow house, uh, rather quaint, uh, located on the west coast of the island of Ladique. But uh, maybe among all these uh, buildings, the most interesting uh, is, uh, without any kind of doubt, uh, this one, the plantation house. Uh, that is to say, the manor house of the Union Estate. It is believed uh, to be the oldest uh, manor house of the few manor house uh, remaining uh, uh, in the Seychelles. This uh, house was built uh, in French colonial style with uh, a ground floor of wooden planks and a roof of uh, palm leaves. Uh, and this uh, place, this Union Estate, uh, is the place where you can find as well this famous uh, giant uh, Torres. Uh, inside uh, this uh, plantation house, uh, you can find uh, as well uh, uh, a vanilla plantation. You can find inside uh, the old uh, cemetery, and you can find as well there the old uh, mill. This mill, one used uh, to extract uh, the coconut oil from the nuts of the coconut. So, 
And at the center of this uh, plantation house uh, stands uh, a wonderful uh, granite uh, monolith, uh, ranked among the historical uh, monuments uh, of the island. Uh, this uh, monolith, uh, with, uh, whose uh, shape uh, resembles uh, the body of a huge uh, elephant, uh, this uh, border was formed uh, about uh, 750,000 million years ago thanks to the slow cooling uh, of magma of the Earth uh, crust, uh, a phenomenon that caused uh, the formation of very big uh, crystals. But the real reason why I tell you to visit uh, this uh, plantation house is another one. I, I tell you to go there. Why? Because there you can find the legendary, the legendary uh, beach of uh, Source d'Argent. I repeat, one of the most photographed beaches uh, in the world. In fact, uh, if the symbol uh, of the island of Roland is the Vallée au Mai, uh, de Mai, we can say that the symbol of this island of La Digue is uh, Source d'Argent Beach. A fascinating beach with uh, its uh, very large uh, laguna and the huge uh, granite uh, blocks sparkling in the sun, shaped by the time and shaped uh, by the ocean. A real paradise that you cannot absolutely miss uh, tomorrow. So we have finished uh, this uh, talk. Sorry for my English. I'm not very fluent in English. Anyway, if you want to complete uh, this uh, cultural information with uh, practical information, I repeat that at about uh, 11.30 at Deck Fire meeting room, you can find my colleague uh, Andrea to give you some practical information about how to move uh, in the Seychelles. Thank you very much for your attention and have a very good day on board of Costa Nia Romantica. Thank, Thank you. you.
che non mi ascoltavi tu oh quante volte gli amici hanno detto a me che sono pazzo pazzo su di te il fatto è che tu fossi e lì
so that one uh, is Seychelles. California, but 4:53 a.m. in uh, Seychelles. Now the sun almost rise in uh, Indian Ocean near uh, Seychelles. Now we see six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Exactly. Six o'clock. The sun almost rise. Uh, here the reserve, reserve. You had to pay sixteen dollar, sixteen dollar a day to to do this one. Show. One name island. No, no, no. no. Outer island of uh, Shishao. Outer island. Outer island of Shishao. in Ireland and become yeah. this uh, country, Seychelles.
Thì đi nhanh đêm xong người ta hết lấy hết vé. Là, 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 là. là pha đôi bát là cái mình nó không có cái ngọt bỏ We going to uh, board the ferry go from Malay 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 to Praelin uh, uh, and all the island Take about one to ride right there This We wait for the ship uh, unload. Uh, load, uh, load item. Uh, today is here. Now, now we 90 degree, but that got the uh, high humidity, so kind of hot. This uh, island uh, lay on the crater, uh, so that's why hot, hot, and hot. Yeah, boy, the boat go to uh, from uh, Iamahe to Breslin. Uh, Uh, or 12th of January 2016. 
So we still sleep there. Cheap hotel there. Yeah, I think I do that. I sleep there. Cousin? Uh, cousin? Oh, cousin. How 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 get there? By boat? Yeah, you get cousin by boat? Yeah, by boat. Uh, uh, oh, where? From Berlin. Berlin to here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Small cousin. small boat will bring you here. Oh, calling a uh, cousin. But uh, you don't go the boat that you came in. You don't go on shore with it. They will come by their own boat uh -huh. and take you uh -huh. to shore. Oh. Go, uh, go, uh, cousin. Yeah. How about the other one? Yeah, cousin. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cousin Island. This this one is uh, Berlin, right? Yeah, Berlin. Have uh, what this one? This uh, La Digue. La Digue, oh La Digue, yeah La Digue, La Digue, yeah. La Digue, oh, yeah. How about that small one? Small one in between. Coco. Coco. Oh Coco. Okay. La Digue. Okay. Yeah. 
Mars here. Yeah. Let's go across the equator, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's about too hard. That's about the uh, sometimes it's about 30. Yeah. 29. Yeah. So, how are you? Okay. You from here? From Seychelles? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> gần 500 đây tắm nước rửa này Berlin Island right now on the Jari uh, 12. Uh, Trong cái phone của mẹ nó lại để là Tuesday rồi mà không phải Monday. đẹp hơn đảo kia đẹp hơn ma he ừ. nói vậy chứ nó vẫn rẻ hơn nó vẫn anh nghĩ hình như cũng đắt ngang uh, cái gì đó ta hi đi á Đây nè 
ba muốn đi nó có cái bảng chỉ nè Thôi khoan khoan quay đi, đừng đừng đi Đừng đi Nhưng mà sợ lát nó hết pin là mình tới thấy nhiều con thú đẹp đó mình không thu được thu. Nobody knows how come this kukunme, the kukunme is found only on this island. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Even on Mahe, or Ladik, I don't, uh, very few, very few. Even if we grow it on Mahe, it doesn't come like this. It's natural. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Naturally found here, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But this land was privately owned by a Mr. Jimo. Mr. Jimo was a guy who so loved nature. It was him who who first have the idea to make this park a natural uh, reserve and uh, actually he lived on this land. This land is more than 20 hectares of land. Uh, he lived on this land and it was so difficult. We have this one, this one big mango tree. But there's no mango up there. When it's young, this leaf can grow up to 12 meters high. 12 meters high and wide uh, about five to five to six meters. Yeah. Building house. Building house. Uh, the leaves. If, yeah. the, if yeah. there is. Not anymore. 
Mm. So what are they doing now when it's getting all inside? What are they using it for? They are selling the coco de mer souvenir, but without the kernel. So that means you can grow it. Oh, grow it. okay. Mm. See, coco de mer, you can... sáng nó đi có cái ferry riêng của nó nhớ không? Nó chở bằng cái thuyền riêng á. Tối nay nó mới về. Chứ nếu mà mình đi thuyền rồi kia thì mình 5 giờ rưỡi mình phải đi rồi. Nếu mà ta còn ăn dinner rồi mình lên nó mới về. Young Coco de Mia, Coco Young Coco de Mia, 20 years ahead of fruit. They can plant that island if they bring to Mahe. Young Mahe is a fruit. I don't know why. You don't know why. In fact, this is from this small tree here. That's a small one, a young one. Okay, it's called the palmis. It's endemic as well. The heart, and that's a young one. Normally, when it's matures, it gets like this one. You see this one there? Okay? So there's, there's a heart. We use it as a salad. We call it millionaire salad. Okay? This is a young one. Go back. Go back or you want to do round the round, round the thing? We go back, we have some more time on the beach or? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, any question about the coco de mer? What do you recommend? I recommend we go back, it's easier. Okay. Okay. We go the round so we, get, we spend some more time on the beach. Huh? Yeah. How tall do you know? How tall? Okay, good question. So, good question. So, the female, the female coco de mer tree grows up to 25 meters high. It's same like human. The the male will go higher. 33, 32 meters high. Okay? So like in male. Both of them hey. Like in human. Both of them are always okay. taller, no? Than the female. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So both of them are hey the fruit and the nut. Yeah. No, female. No, no, no. no. The male, no. The male, no. The fruit is only from the female. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that pollination by wind? Or by, by wind and by uh, geckos, insects. Yeah. Can, can you distinguish the male and female? Sorry? Can you distinguish the male and the female? Easy, easy. Uh, by fruit? That's a female okay. tree. And uh, the where male, male, you have the catkins. Uh, where? Uh, let me where? show you a where male. Uh, where can I find a male from here? At the back there, we, we, saw, we saw just one there. Uh -huh. So the female, the fruit is bigger? Female has... It's different. <coughs> the male doesn't have any fruit. The male no, has no flower. Oh.
Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh, go on, you want to go on? Very beautiful dish here. tìm cái chỗ nào đi tới cái cốt đo đó thì đi theo đi đi theo đi ra đó không được như mấy người đâu cái chỗ mà 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 Beautiful bird. What? Beautiful bird, huh? Good job. Mm This is Cold War, uh, Cold War Beach in um, uh, Praline in Seychelles, one of the best beach in the world. Praline, uh, Cold War.
ta lấy là cẩn thận cảnh em có gì đâu mày